the threat has grown. Um, and since the threat has grown, we must uh, do more to, to defend our, our uh, territory. And uh, so maybe perhaps that's what, that has, uh, what we people, people are seeing, uh, is that a more robust defense of our, of our territorial rights uh, as uh, recognized by the international community through international law, through the UNCLOS, um, and uh, we 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 hew very close to that. We we do not we do not leave uh, very uh, we do not, we have not instigated any kind of conflict. We have not instigated any kind of confrontation. The but U.S. has weighed in. It constantly points to Article Five of the Mutual Defense Agreement, mm -hmm. which was signed in 1951. It now says that it now extends to all armed conflicts, mm. armed attacks mm. in all, in any area of the South China Sea. In practice, mm. what exactly does that mean? Perhaps I, I, that, that uh, an a, a incursion, for example, uh, to occupy, uh, which has already happened, but we are still trying to, 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 to keep it uh, uh, peaceful. Uh, but you see, we are avoiding <laughs> We avoid, as I said, we think about peace in the, in the national interest. It, is, it does not serve any purpose to heighten tensions, to say, okay, I am invoking now the Mutual Defense Treaty. And uh, that, that I don't think anyone wants that, unless... You've asked a very difficult question here. Um, <laughs> unless, unless the... The effects are such that it is a threat. It is. It will become an existential threat to the country. Then I think it's very easy to say that uh, that 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 would uh, that would trigger uh, the the mutual defense treaty, the agreement between the United States and the Philippines. How confident are you about U.S. support? How far do you think the U.S. would go to support the Philippines in the South China Sea? Well, that, that's far. Uh, we, we can say that the United States has been very, uh, ve certainly very supportive in every, in every way. And, um, and it has, uh, the United States has really uh, shown uh, that it takes very seriously these agreements that we have. And so, but it is dangerous for one to think in terms of when something goes wrong, We'll run to Big Brother. Uh, that, that's not the way we treat it at all. I say we, 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 we do this for ourselves. We do this because we feel that we have to do it. And it's not at the behest or at the, of, of the United States. Mr. President, just to follow up on that, how confident are you the U.S. is willing to go to war with China over a disputed reef in the South China Sea? Oh, God. Uh, you, how far is the U.S. prepared to go? What are your talks suggesting to you? Well, I, I really, uh, we, we would, that, to take, the, take the, a step back from that question is that that is precisely what we want to avoid. Uh, we want to do everything we possibly can together with our partners and allies to avoid that situation whatsoever. This is, the, this is not, this is not the, uh, uh, poking the, the bear, as it were. Uh, we are trying quite to, to, to do quite the opposite. You know, we, we are trying to, to keep things uh, at, a, at a manageable level, uh, to continue the dialogues, whatever they are, at every level. And we have initiated many of those dialogues. At the, we have dialogues at the sub-ministerial level, at the ministerial level, and at the executive level. And so, I think that that's what we have to continue because uh, it, it, it would, the, the, there are many volatilities in the area, in the region. 